The two armies are deployed about nine uh, bases apart, which is extreme artillery range, uh, and uh, the French are the attacking player, so they will move first. Uh, in the first turn, there's a special phase where the uh, defending person's artillery can fire in an attempt to disrupt the formation and movement. Uh, at this extreme range, uh, 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 one gun, all it can do is bombard a target, which will force that target to take an action test before it moves. So, uh, this gun here will target this unit here in an attempt to break up this formation a little bit. If the Allied player had two guns, both of which could target this unit, uh, they could both uh, target it, and that would force the unit to take an action test. But the Allied player has only got one gun, so it's just going to be an action test this time. The French player now moves. Uh, if you're moving straight forward, uh, you just uh, measure the distance that you want to go and move that distance. So the cavalry move three base width, and as the base width is that distance, that is this distance here. So if you move straight forward, it's no problem like that. And the rest of the cavalry will move forward. I'll move those a little bit later. For the infantry, it's not quite as straightforward. Uh, they also want to just march forward to uh, get closer and they will move one and a half of the base width, which is this distance. But this unit is under artillery fire. So for it to move, it must first of all take an action test to see if the artillery fire has slowed them down. If it rolls a one or two, it cannot move at all. Uh, but if it rolls higher than that, uh, then it can move as normal. So the player rolls a dice, he's rolled a two. So that unit is fixed in place at the moment. But luckily the player has commander within command distance of the unit. So the commander can use one of his pips uh, here to give that unit a second chance to move. So he's going to do that. He's going to use one of these pips to give a second attempt to move forward under the artillery fire. So the player rolls again and he's failed again. So, luckily this, the commander is quite a good commander, so he has a, an extra pip, so he's going to use his second one to attempt to get this unit to move. It's passed at last, so the unit moves forward, and the rest of the army continue behind. I'll now move the rest of the units forward. So, the French units have moved forward, uh, and that's the end of their movement phase. The next part of their phase is to designate the targets for their artillery. Uh, we can now remove this because that is completed. So the French player is going to fire at these over here. Uh, it's very likely that, uh, that this will have no effect whatsoever because all this will do uh, is uh, force the units to take an action test if they want to move. If they don't want to move, it will do very little. The final phase would be to cause uh, Morale tests for the for any of the allied units which are threatened, but at this stage none of them are. Let's now go to the first allied turn.